Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thank you to my new subscribers. I wanted to take a quick minute before we get into the Alcohol Ink Petri Dish Coasters. Uh, I was nominated by Tammy and Doris at DF Designs for part of the Paint It Forward 2019 campaign. And this was started by Tammy, where um, basically you just give a shout out or let people know about three channels that you like and um, just wanted to spread the word about these three channels and they'll be linked in the description below. And also, uh, Cherie has a really awesome website where she sells pigments and glitters that go so beautiful in resin or um, any project that you're going to be working on that you need pigments or glitter. So let's get started. Thanks, guys. So today we're going to be using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to pour my Part B into my cup first. And uh, for these, I think I made 12 ounces of resin. So I did six ounces of part B and six ounces of part A. And I just stir, 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 stir. Um, I always stir it for three minutes and I have a clock in my art room that helps me keep track of time. And then sometimes even after three minutes, I'll stir it for an extra minute just to be extra sure that it's well mixed and incorporated and I didn't you know miss the sides of my cup or the bottom when you're stirring make sure you scrape the sides scrape the bottom uh, I fast forwarded this so you guys didn't have to sit through three minutes of stirring I'm almost done stirring and the mold that I'm using I got off Amazon it's just a little um, coaster mold and before you pour any resin in make sure there's no dust or debris inside your mold these molds attract every single particle of dust that's in the room and then I'm just pouring my resin into these uh, little cavities I guess you could call them and I'm trying to make sure that it's almost to the top but not all the way up to the top so um, you can always go back and add more too. And then um, the bubbles, you know, they pop on their own and then we'll also hit it with the heat torch to pop all the bubbles. And I store my molds in, uh, it's like a little Sterilite three drawer storage thing. And I store them upside down in there with the drawer shut. So that way no dust or debris can flow into it while it's not being used because these things like I said they just attract every single particle of dust that's in the air. I didn't like how the corners of this um, mold were, were sagging so I have a little pile in my work area of trash coasters that didn't dry good so I use these if I ever need to prop anything up or level it so I just put those under there and you can already see the bubbles are kind of just popping on their own. They're moving towards the center of the mold. Um, these ones, I actually let the resin sit in the mold for like 15 minutes before I hit um, with before I hit it with my little torch right there to pop all the bubbles. And before you use your torch, make sure you turn it on and point it away from your project for about five, 10 seconds to blow out any of the dust boogers. Thanks to Doris uh, at DF Designs for that tip. I'm taking a little push pin tack and I'm uh, popping any bubbles that are along the edge of the mold. Now I'm ready to go in with my alcohol ink and I'm using the pinata Baja Blue, Sun Bright Yellow, Rich Gold, and Blanco. And I just put about six drops of blue in each of these and then I'm going to go in and add yellow and I'm gonna try to get the yellow in between the spots where I put the blue. I was hoping that the yellow and the blue would make some green. I always love when the primary colors are together then you, you can come out with some cool effects on these. So I'm just going in between where my um, blue dots were and adding a yellow dot. And it's okay with these if you you know squeeze the bottle and two or three drops come out. It's not a big deal. No worries. Now I'm going in with the Pinata Blanco and I'm going over every single blue and yellow dot that I made. This Blanco, um, it's heavier than all the other colors so it's gonna sink to the bottom and give you the cool Petri dish effect that you're looking for. So I'm just going through on each of these and adding a spot of white to every place where I put blue or yellow. Now I'm going to go back in with my blue and I'm going on top of the white and adding another drop of blue. And I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. I like to do this uh, three times. So I'll do color, white, color, color, white, color, 
color, white, color. And then that's it for my molds. I usually just pick my colors and I'll do, you know, three layers and that's it. And right here, I kind of had a little bit of disaster happen. I ran out of white and I cannot believe that even happened. How does that happen? How do you run out of white? But I did. So I was like, oh no, I was so worried, but it ended up turning out okay in the end. So now I'm just going back over my yellow dots and I'm adding another drop of yellow. And same thing with the blue, I'm adding another drop of blue on there. I was trying to get the white to come out, but it just wasn't happening, so I just added another dot of blue on this one. I tried one last time to get the white to come out and it just wasn't happening, so I just added a little bit more yellow onto the yellow dots that I already had there. And then I also added a little bit more blue on this one. So now I'm gonna go in with the gold and I'm gonna add about six drops to each one of these little coasters. And the gold is kind of like the white where it's heavy, so it's gonna sink to the bottom of the other colors and give you some really nice effects. But don't add too much because it will take over. And that's all I did on the ink for these ones. Um, so like I said, if you just do color, white, color, if you layer that three times throughout your Petri dish, you'll get some really awesome effects. And if you just do a drop of gold, six times or five times, however many times you want, you'll get really pretty sparkle too. And while these were setting up, I put a little box over the top of them, an empty box, so no dust or debris got inside overnight. I let these sit for 24 hours and now we're gonna demold them. When I make these, I like to leave a little space in the middle of clear so you can really see the cool um, little brains and effects that you can get from the different alcohol inks. This one was the one that I ran out of white on, but it still turned out really pretty, I think. I did have some little bubbles show up along the edge of these, but uh, you can take care of that by just kind of watching it more closely than I did. I kind of totally forgot about these, to be honest, but I should have went back and checked and popped any little bubbles that showed up with my tack, and um, then I wouldn't have had this problem. You can see on the other two that the white really does help you get those little brains that I like to call them that pop up and grow to the top of your coaster. You can see on this one the blue and the yellow really did mix together and make a cool green. Now I'm going to show you guys what these look like up close. I love how you can see the gold that just gave it a little tiny bit of sparkle. It's so pretty in the sunlight. like the video. I'll see you on Friday. Bye guys.